There was a study done on polar bears <clears throat> in uh, Alaska, in Canada, and up in Norway, Finland, uh, where other than Greenland. And they would capture a thing and they would analyze blood. And they found high levels of mercury in the polar bears. How's that possible? Well, the polar bears eat seals. So they started, ca they captured some of the wildlife. Seals took blood tests from whales. And they find out there's a level of mercury unusual level of mercury that you wouldn't find in, say, uh, black bears in the United States or grizzly bears. But you find them in polar bears. You find them in Eskimos. What do you mean? You're finding a level, level of mercury in Eskimos. Why? Because of the type of food they eat. Remember, bears eat Bears eat seals who eat fish, etc., etc., etc. So it's a chain, chain line of uh, mercury in that thing. And they're finding out that PCBs are also in there high, high, high. And, well, when you get to, say, the Eskimos, um, higher levels of cancer are occurring than they used to be. Yes. Why? Higher levels of mercury. PCBs and plastic and all the little stuff that, that affect. and they're finding out that they're finding trash plastic bottles in the Arctic Circle what do you mean plastic bottles they're finding p pools of plastic being washed up along Greenland and in Canada uh, waterways or you know islands. Where is this stuff coming up? It's coming in by current. There's a current going around Greenland, and it's bringing all the trash up there to the Arctic. So you may have something thrown in the water in Florida, and it goes up the Gulf Stream, and goes up, it can go into between Canada and uh, Greenland. And it's pretty bad. Whatever you find on the beaches around the world, you can find up in, in Canada. And the worst thing is, as the global warming, these things are uh, uh, slowly breaking down. Um, a lot of mini microplastic or neuroplastic is now up there. And the seals, the fish eat the ne a little plastic globs and the seals eat them, the humans eat the, um, or the bears eat that thing. And people are, they're finding in their bloodstream, nyral plastic. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And they're finding in the lungs of dead people. They do an autopsy up there and they're finding little plastic bits inside people's breathing. There was this thing of, of a, a, it was reported way back a couple hundred years ago, up in north. Um, they saw a haze moving across the islands. They couldn't figure out what it was, and uh, it was from coal burning plants, because everybody was burning coal in England, Ireland. United States, Canada, and the rest of the world was burning coal. And that haze in the Arctic was pollution. It's like, on a clear day, what clear day? You can see forever, not anymore, you can't. Uh, even now, they're, they're finding the haze are making up of from China and India mainly from China. There's a slight haze out in the Arctic. What is that from? It's the coal pollution from uh, the smokestacks from China. Can't win. Well, ah, let's bring back nuclear. Wait, that's, that's dangerous. 
Uh, well, breathing, breathing cold dust is dangerous. <laughs>